Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. I got a nice little treat for you. I have a lot of my students that have been going to Scotland and Ireland this summer enjoying some amazing golf out there. And to get them prepared to face those kinds of elements, we work on the stinger shot. Now this little low stinger with the three iron, uh, you want to have a long iron in the bag. Definitely want to bring the long irons out there. You, you, you know, the, the hybrids just put the ball up a little too high. If you do have a hybrid, make sure it's a very low lofted hybrid. You're going to need it, okay? So this uh, particular setup right here, I'm on the, the forward tee on 18. This has exactly the same setup as the Sherwood Country Club where Tiger was hitting those low stinger irons when he won uh, last uh, November, okay? So I'm going to hit a low stinger up the hill and then and at Sherwood it comes back down the hill on the other side and the fairway kind of rolls to the right. I'm going to hit a nice little low draw up that slope and around back towards that 150 marker. So if we look at the setup, we're going to play that ball way back in the stand, so back of center, and then we're going to close the face. Now if you remember my hammer through and solid contact videos, you'll see that, uh, let, let me get a little block here just to get my door frame. So here's a door frame. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to use the weight of my arm hammer unit to squeeze this ball into the door frame. So I play the ball back in the door frame, close the face. Notice how my head's behind the ball and my weight is more predominantly on my left side. So if I had a sledgehammer here, see how I'm squeezing that ball straight in? Now notice the lack of loft. Doesn't that look like there's, there's zero loft involved? Well, this is what you don't get about the long irons. As long as the ball gets this high off the ground with some compression, then the dimples on the ball create that turbulence and makes the ball rise. So it's virtually impossible to duff this shot if you're squeezing that ball into that door frame. So we want to feel the weight of that arm club unit and use the weight to squeeze that ball into the door frame and see what happens. So this is where you got to put your, uh, your uh, uh, what you might call it, scientist hat on. You know, a, a scientist in a proper experiment is going to put his recipe in the bottle and then observe. So I play the ball back. There's my spot. I play the ball back a center. There's the center of my stance. Close the phase, get behind the ball. I visualize that door frame. The door frame is lined up right over to the right side of that divot. I'm going to use the weight of that arm club unit to squeeze that ball into the door frame. Feel that weight. Wee ha! Look at that go. So what you just saw was the club, uh, the hands come through first, see the angle of the shaft? Then the club catches the ball, then it starts cutting turf right about here. So you notice there's a nice piece of turf. I just put the ball back exactly where that tee was, and then I start cutting grass here. Then as the club enters the ground, it's starting to come back around the arc. See where the arc was? And look how low it stayed on the way through because my low point basically is right about here and then it comes back out. So I'm looking for that nice squeeze into that door frame. That's what it looks like. Okay? So I'm feeling that weight, using that weight to pin that ball into the door frame just to the right of that divot. Here we go. Okay, so one final point. I'm going to show you three different versions. High draw, medium draw, and that low stinger draw, which you just saw. 
from the front here. So if I'm going high draw, it's okay to play the ball a little more forward in your stance with the long irons when you want to hit that high draw. Up till about six or even seven iron, when you really want to hit that high floating draw, land it nice and soft on the green. Because if you look at my throwing the club video, we talk about we want to throw it high for a high shot and we're throwing it low for a low shot. Now, if I, if I got the ball back in my stance and I'm trying to throw this high, well, that's not going to work. I feel the need to reach back to throw it high. And that's why a lot of you have a tendency to go back on that back foot. So for my normal draw, I'm playing the ball just a hair back of center, but I'm also getting behind the ball. So you notice I still have a nice level of tilt. So this is going to have a nice height to it. If I want to catch it a little bit lower like that stinger, I play it a little further back. Get I won't get behind it as much. I'm going to stay right here in front, but just bring the head back and really feel that I'm squeezing it straight into the door frame. That's the flight that you just saw. Now, if I'm hitting the ball very high with the draw, now I'm going to play the ball a little forward to center. And now I can feel that I can really throw it high because I got extra tilt my release is a lot deeper out here so playing the ball more forward works very well for that so if you play the ball forward to center you're either thinking fade or you're thinking very high draw okay so I hope that helped